sulfides are used as bleaching agents in the paper industry. Therefore, the effluent water from a paper industry contains sulfide and sulfate ions. It is necessary to determine the concentrations of these ions so that they can be removed before the water is discharged from the factory. A method to determine the concentrations of these ions is given below. This is the method to calculate the concentrations of these ions and finally you have to calculate the concentrations of sulfide and sulfate ions in the effluent water. Now we will carefully read the given method. A 10 cubic centimeter sample of the effluent water was reacted with 25 cubic centimeters of 0.1 moles per cubic decimeter iodine solution. Now students we will try to understand the chemical reactions taking place when iodine reacted with the effluent water. Iodine is an oxidizing agent. Therefore, during this reaction, iodine molecules reduce to iodide ions. This effluent water contains sulfide and sulfate ions. The oxidation state of sulfur in this sulfide ion is plus 4. And the oxidation state of sulfur in the sulfate ion is plus 6. Maximum oxidation state of sulfur is plus 6. As this sulfur atom is in the highest oxidation state, sulfate ions cannot be oxidized. Therefore, when this iodine solution is added to the effluent water, only these sulfite ions oxidize to sulfate ions. Now we will balance the redox reaction between sulfide ions and iodine. First balance the number of iodine atoms. Oxidation state of iodine in I2 is 0. Oxidation state of iodine in this iodide ion is minus 1. When the oxidation state of iodine changes from 0 to minus 1, it involves 1 electron. So this 1 electron is per 1 iodine atom. During this reduction process, both iodine atoms in this iodine molecule reduce to iodide ions. Therefore, the total number of electrons involved during the reduction process is 2 electrons. Oxidation state of sulfur in the sulfide ion is plus 4. Oxidation state of sulfur in the sulfate ion is plus 6. Oxidation state of sulfur changes from plus 4 to plus 6. Therefore, this oxidation process involves two electrons. Number of electrons involved in the reduction and the oxidation process are the same. Therefore, we will balance the number of oxygen atoms. Three oxygen atoms on the left, four oxygen atoms on the right. Therefore, we need to add one water molecule to the left. Next, balance the number of hydrogen atoms. Two hydrogen atoms on the left and there's no hydrogen atoms on the right. So, we have to add 2H plus ions to the right. This is the balanced ionic equation for the reaction between iodine and sulfide ions. Next, 30 cubic centimeters of 0.1 moles per cubic decimeter sodium thiosulfate solution was required to react with the I2 remaining after the above reaction. This sodium thiosulfate reacts with remaining I2. So that means during the first step iodine was added in excess. When excess iodine was present all sulfite ions oxidized to sulfate ions. Therefore this solution contains sulfate ions and remaining I2. This sulfate is a total amount of sulfate that means it contains the initial sulfate as well as the new sulfate ions produced by sulfite ions. This contains sulfate ions and the remaining I2 but when thiosulfate was added only this iodine reacts with thiosulfate ions. During this reaction these iodine molecules reduce to iodide ions and these thiosulfate ions oxidize to tetrathionate ions.
This is the balanced ionic equation for the reaction between thiosulfate ions and I2 molecules. Another 10 cubic centimeter of the effluent water sample was reacted with 25 cubic centimeters of 0.1 moles per cubic decimeter iodine solution acidified with dilute nitric and reacted with excess aqueous barium chloride solution. Then a white precipitate was obtained. The dry mass of the purified white precipitate was 0.932 grams. Now students, this step is the same as previous. During this step, I2 molecules reduced to iodide ions and sulfite ions oxidized to sulfate ions. These sulfate ions remain as the same. This solution contains sulfate ions and when this excess aqueous barium chloride was added, barium 2 plus ions together with sulfate ions give a white precipitate. The precipitate is barium sulfate. This is the dry mass of this barium sulfate precipitate. Calculate the concentrations of sulfite and sulfate ions in the effluent water. This question has two sets of experiments. From this first experiment, we can calculate the concentration of sulfite ions in this effluent water. We can calculate the concentration of sulfate ions using the second experiment. This is the first experiment. During this process, excess iodine was reacted with the effluent water and then all sulfite ions oxidized to sulfate ions and the mixture contains remaining I2 as well. Then this mixture was titrated with sodium thiosulfate solution. And during this process, these thiosulfate ions react with remaining I2 molecules. We will start the calculation from the titration procedure. First write the balanced ionic equation for the reaction between iodine and thiosulfate ions. Now we can calculate the number of moles of sodium thiosulfate reacted with remaining iodine. Number of moles equals Cv. Concentration of sodium thiosulfate is 0.1 and the volume is 30 cubic centimeters. Here the volume is given in cubic centimeters. You need to convert this unit to cubic decimeters. Therefore, the number of moles of thiosulfate ions reacted with remaining I2 equals 0.1 moles per cubic decimeter times 30 divided by 1000 cubic decimeters. The answer is 3 times 10 to the negative third moles. We have calculated the number of moles of thiosulfate reacted with this remaining I2. Therefore, using this stoichiometry, we can calculate the number of moles of remaining I2. If the number of moles of thiosulfate ions is x, the remaining I2 is x divided by 2. Therefore, the number of moles of remaining I2 is half of this value. 3 times 10 to the negative third divided by 2. The answer is 1.5 times 10 to the negative third. Now we have calculated the number of moles of remaining I2. The concentration and the volume of initial I2 was given. Therefore, we can calculate the number of moles of initial iodine. Number of moles equals Cv. The initial amount of I2 equals 0.1 moles per cubic decimeter times 25 divided by 1000 cubic decimeter. Here the volume is given in cubic centimeters. You have to convert the cubic centimeters into cubic decimeters. For that we have to divide by 1000. The answer is 2.5 times 10 to the negative third. Now we have calculated the initial number of moles of I2. And 
some amount of this I2 was reacted with sulfite ions. And also we have calculated the remaining number of moles of I2 using this titration. Therefore, using these two values, we can calculate the number of moles of I2 reacted with these sulfite ions. Initial number of moles of I2 minus remaining number of moles of I2 gives the number of moles of I2 reacted with sulfite ions. Therefore, the number of moles of iodine reacted with sulfite ions is 1 times 10 to the negative third. Now we have to write the balanced ionic equation for the reaction between iodine and sulfite ions. Earlier, we have calculated the reacted number of moles of I2. Therefore, according to the stoichiometry, number of moles of sulfite ions in this effluent water sample is the same as the number of moles of reacted I2. Therefore, the number of moles of sulfite ions is 1 times 10 to the negative third. Concentration equals N over V. We have calculated the number of moles of sulfite ions and the volume of sulfite ions is given in the question. Therefore, we can calculate the concentration of sulfite ions. The concentration of sulfite ions equals 1 times 10 to the negative third moles divided by 10 times 10 to the negative third cubic decimeters. Here the volume is given in cubic centimeters. We have to convert this unit into cubic decimeters. For that you have to divide 10 by 1000. Therefore the concentration of sulfite ions in this effluent water sample is 0.1 moles per cubic decimeter. This is the second experiment. The first step of this second experiment is the same as the previous experiment. In the presence of excess iodine, all sulfite ions converted to sulfate ions. This contains the initial sulfate ions as well as the sulfate ions produced by the oxidation of sulfite ions. When excess aqueous barium chloride was added, all these sulfate ions precipitated as barium sulfate. Dry mass of the barium sulfate is 0.932 grams. Mass of barium sulfate was given in this experiment and we can calculate the molar mass of barium sulfate. Therefore, we can calculate the number of moles of barium sulfate. Amount of barium sulfate equals 0.932 grams divided by 233 grams per mole. The answer is 4 times 10 to the negative third. This is a precipitation reaction. We have calculated the number of moles of barium sulfate. Therefore, number of moles of sulfate ions is same as the number of moles of barium sulfate. Therefore, students, the total number of moles of sulfate ions is 4 times 10 to the negative third. This includes the initial sulfate ions as well as sulfate ions produced by the oxidation of sulfite ions. During the first experiment, we have calculated the number of moles of sulfite ions present in 10 cubic centimeters of effluent water. That is 1 times 10 to the negative third. Initial number of moles of sulfite ions is 1 times 10 to the negative third. According to the stoichiometry, number of moles of sulfate ions produced by the oxidation of sulfite ions is the same as the number of moles of sulfite ions. The total number of moles of sulfate ions is equal to the sum of initial number of moles of sulfate ions and number of moles of sulfate ions produced by the oxidation of sulfite ions. 
Therefore, we can calculate the initial number of moles of sulfate ions. Number of moles of initial sulfate equals 4 times 10 to the negative third minus 1 times 10 to the negative third. The answer is 3 times 10 to the negative third. Initial number of moles of sulfate ions is 3 times 10 to the negative third and the volume of effluent water is 10 cubic centimeters. Therefore, we can calculate the concentration of sulfate ions. Concentration is N over V. Concentration of initial sulfate ions is 3 times 10 to the negative third moles divided by 10 times 10 to the negative third cubic decimeters. Here the volume is given in cubic centimeters. You must convert the unit into cubic decimeters. The answer is 0.3 moles per cubic decimeter.